Hey everyone, hope you guys are doing well. So today I wanna go ahead and walk you through some of the updates and things that I've done to this bike over having it over the past year. Obviously you can tell uh, if you watch the first video, I do have the FMF 4.1 RCT aluminum muffler on there. This is just the slip on. I don't have the full system. Um, I might go ahead and get that later, but just haven't done that yet. One of the things that I have done to the bike is added a Vortex sprocket. This is a 52 tooth sprocket from Vortex. Uh, this is aluminum, not steel. I've also added the titanium Raptor pegs. These things really keep your boots stuck to the pegs. It's, they're great pegs, I definitely recommend them. I added the Acerbis carbon fiber brake disc cover and it's held up pretty well. I've heard that sometimes those things can break, but I haven't had any issues with it. I got rid of the the Renthal uh, Fat Bar 36s and went with the Pro Taper ACFs. This is the aluminum, aluminum carbon fiber version. I love these bars. I definitely prefer these over the Renthals. And I've got the ASV levers, breakaway. And funny story though, uh, on the left when I crashed and I bent this lever, quite a ways out and contacted ASV and they were super helpful with getting that replaced. A shout out to them. I definitely recommend that company. I've gone ahead and added the Twin Air Power Flow Kit. Ugh, dirty filter. <laughs> this thing is amazing. I mean, let's just check this out. It really changed the bike from when I first got it. I really recommend you guys uh, upgrading uh, to this. I mean, I think it's like 250, 275 uh, on their website. But as you can see, provides a lot more airflow. And this bike just absolutely loves being able to breathe. So I definitely recommend uh, upgrading to one of those from the stock. Um, the bike really, really does change. As you can see, I've updated the graphics to the 2022 versions. I got these from Decor, great company. Um, and I noticed that the stock 2022s and 21s have the same graphics, but I wanted to go with the 2022 versions. They're similar to the 2023 styles, and I just think they look better than the previous versions. And so I went with the full kit from Decor. I've also upgraded to all Cycra plastics and uh, I went ahead and did that when adding the new graphics. And that's where I got um, the blue fender from. Uh, I also got the front number plate from Cycra. Um, I think I got those from Rocky Mountain ATV. Right now I'm running Dunlop MX 33s. Some of you guys may be asking, how did you TJ get the yellow lettering on the tires? I will tell you that this was all hand done. Um, I went to my local local AutoZone and uh, picked up tire markers. They're about $20 a piece. And I just took the time to hand do the lettering on there. Uh, it's kind of fading out right now. Probably need to touch them up again, but I've got a light speed glide, glide plate. This is carbon fiber. And I got rid of the Acerbis just because I think that this looks better. I also took off the plastic case cover. I like how the aluminum case cover just exposes the front uh, sprocket there. It looks pretty good. But overall, that's about it. I know last time I started it up, so why don't we go ahead and do the same and show you how she sounds. So those are my upgrades. I'll go ahead and put some links down to the sites that I've gotten a couple of these parts at and uh, definitely recommend getting these bikes. 
had a guy ride it the other day and he said, man, this is definitely the fastest 250 I've ever ridden. And he was off of a 450. So yeah, I love it. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video.